Hi there, and let's get to it. I'd like to begin by defining what migration in post is. There's usually a point during film production when someone other than the editor requires the final cut edit of the film. This is usually an audio engineer, a visual effects artist, or of course, the colorist. But how do you get this edit across to them? If you export it as a self-contained video file, you're either going to lose some quality, a huge no-no for visual effects or coloring, or the video file will be so big that it will be impractical to transfer. The solution is to give the person a copy of the drive with all the raw materials on it, and a list of all the edit points, which they can use to reconstruct the timeline on their end. This is what an EDL is, an edit decision list, a human-readable file generated by a software containing the most vital edit information, clip name and order number, source and timeline in and out points, frame rate, screen resolution, and ratio. There are different types of EDL file formats, with the most popular one being XML due to its versatility and compatibility. This is the one we'll be primarily focusing on today. I'm going to open up my copy of Premiere Pro and really quickly construct an edit that contains some basic editing tools. In the interest of showing you what comes across and what doesn't uh, during an EDL transfer, I've popped a cross dissolve at the beginning of the clip. I've applied an animation of the scale values of one of the clips. I've added a grade. I've also changed the timing on one of the clips. And you know what, I'll do it again here. Maybe going in the opposite direction and slowing it down. One thing I recommend before you even export this as an XML is that you make a duplicate of your sequence. So you could just press uh, Control C, Command V. There you go. And I'm going to rename this as you know, version 2. And then I'm double clicking that to open it. And what you need to do is try to get everything onto one video track if possible. Some people edit this way naturally, which is fine, but some people prefer to have a multi-track workflow, which is also okay if that's how you prefer to do it. Unfortunately, that doesn't suit EDL workflows too well because it means that a separate EDL will have to be generated for each video track, and that means there's more likelihood of something going wrong or being mistranslated. So I'm going to indicate my in and out points, and I'm going to export an XML file. I'm just going to throw this onto my desktop to keep things simple. And this is important. I got a dialog box telling me about a translation report. I know it might look like an error message, like something went wrong and it's just a bunch of code that's going to be spat out at you, but this is a very useful human readable file that your colorist can use when they're opening up the XML on their end. So I'm going to click OK for that. I can even demonstrate if I minimize my programs the FCP translation results file over here. You can open it with something really simple like a notepad. And I've only got one translation issue in that whole edit. It's telling me that in my sequence, example edit version 2, at 47 seconds in video track 1, the effect of RGB curves was not translated. So this is a really good demonstration of how some things simply do not come across in an XML workflow. Uh, so that grade is gone. Any additional media like titles or mats would also not have come across, and my XML report would have reflected that. One last thing I should be doing inside of my editing program is exporting a self-contained video file of this edit in a fairly low resolution, so it doesn't have to be good quality. This will definitely not be used in the final product. So. Ultimately, for an EDL workflow, you need a couple of things. The original footage, preferably in the same folder structure as the editors. An EDL file, for example, like the XML that I'm about to start using. A bonus would be to have a translation file that will identify any issues or any basic effects that did not come across. And also a self-contained, low-resolution video file of the whole export, uh, which we'll be using to compare our conformed edit in a second. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you next time.